Oh, hi there. It's me, Tails. I thought I could make this video since many of you seem to be struggling with math these days. Don't worry. After watching this video, you will find that math is not as hard as you previously thought it was. In this video, I will show you how to solve any multiplication problem in your head, so you may never need to use a calculator. Let me give you an example problem. 172 times 46. In this instance, the larger number is called the multiplicand, and the smaller number is simply the multiplier. Let's start with the multiplicand. Since there are three digits in this number, we will separate it into three smaller numbers. You can use this pattern to find double, triple, or even quadruple digit values. Now that you have these three numbers, you will take the multiplier and place it underneath each of these numbers. Now it's time to multiply. Let's start with 100 times 46. Remember, for any number times 100, you just add two zeros at the end of that number. 100 times 46 equals 4600. Sounds simple enough. Now let's move on to 70 times 46. All you do is count 46 7 times, and then add a zero at the end of the result. Let's count in our heads. To make this easier, include the number of times you counted in your head, shown in parentheses, so that you know when to stop. This process may be a little difficult, since not only are you counting by a large number, but you also need to try and keep this number in your head. Don't worry. You will get the hang of this soon. Now let's start counting. When you count 46 7 times, you end up with 322. Now just add a zero at the end. There you have it. 70 times 46 equals 3220. And finally, 2 times 46. Since you previously counted 46 twice in the process of counting 46 7 times, it won't take very long to find that 46 times 2 equals 92. Now that you have all of these numbers in your head, you will add them all up to get the final result. So there you have it folks, 172 times 46 equals 7912. If you want, you can always use a calculator to check. Once you get the hang of this whole concept, you will be multiplying in no time. However, with any method of multiplication, there is always the possibility of error. This is why it's always a good idea to double check if you missed anything or did anything wrong, and also use a calculator if you are unsure that a certain answer is correct. After all. We are all human beings. We make mistakes, we run into miscalculations, and we are just not perfect? That's okay. You don't need to be a genius to get along in the world. You can always find easy solutions to difficult problems, just as I showed you this whole multiplication process in an easier way. I hope you enjoyed this little math video. You should consider sharing this video with your friends, and bring awareness to this simple multiplication process. I will see you later.